Hey guys, so we have seen the launch of the RTX 5070 Ti with the launch of the 5070 coming next month. And as you can see, I've created a page for the 5070 Ti, a tracking page on Amazon. And we can see here, there's a number already available. Currently the prices are about two times MSRP and that gives it a similar price profile to the 5080 where you're paying about twice the MSRP in order to get hold of one within any reasonable time scale. Now there are also supplies coming in at Newegg where quite often they are coming in at MSRP and you have to be really really quick. There are MSRP deliveries coming in to Amazon as well, it's quite often being sold by Amazon. And you'll find that you have to be super quick. On New Egg, you also have a wide range of cards available and you also have what they call combo deals. Now the combo deals sometimes can actually hang around for several hours. So this is probably your best bet of getting a reasonable deal on the 50 series cards, 5090 through to the 5070 Ti, if you wanna get it you know, at a reasonable price and you want to grab some kind of TV monitor or a power supply along with the graphics card, you will have to return both of them if you find this, if you prefer not to keep them. <laughs> Otherwise people would just buy, you know, both of them and then just return the power supply or whatever. And you can also find quite a lot of PCs which are available pre-built. Now, Newegg actually had a whole kind of statement for the launch of the 5070 Ti. In a statement on Business Wire, they say ABS RTX 50 series gaming PCs, the pinnacle of performance. And then they go on to talk about the Advanced Battle Stations, which is their in-house brand, which is offering a number of PCs at very reasonable prices sort of like MSRP prices for the card. And they've got the 5070 Ti there, but if you do want the X3D CPUs, they've got a range here, Intel and AMD. And this is a range of manufacturers, including MSI. And some of these products will be in stock over the coming week. So my recommendation is that if you want to get hold of one of these cards, set up your account on Amazon and Newegg. And if you see something at around MSRP, just go for it very quickly. Don't wait until you see something and then try to set up your account to purchase. They are available not just in the US, they're available also in the UK and other locations. But over the last week, they, Newegg has been the company that has had the most number of GPUs that I've seen at MSRP, but you gotta be quick. It does go very quick. I've seen some remaining on the shelf for about 15 to 20 minutes, 15, 15 minutes to 30 minutes, even on Amazon. So sometimes you can actually get something there. And I've been putting these in the community posts and also on Twitter. So it is possible, but I think after this initial launch, we're going to see a reduction in supply. And I'm going to explain why that is my current thesis on the NVIDIA 50 series cards. That's going to be a bit later on in the video. Now with this statement, we can actually see what NVIDIA seems to think is the most important things about the 50 series cards. DLSS 4 achieve up to eight times higher frame rates for seamless gameplay. Reflex 2, fifth generation tensor cores push AI driven tasks to new heights. That's going to affect DLSS and that will also affect other AI processes. True 4K 24, 2040 FPS. That's what Nvidia thinks is important because you can bet your bottom dollar th these are not what Newegg has dreamt up as the most important things about the 50 series cards. This is probably coming straight from Nvidia. Now I've already said before that I feel that the RTX 5000 series is going to be the most important launch maybe since the RTX series came into being in 2018 with the 20 series cards. And this is the reason why. Look at what's happening in terms of performance of the 5070 Ti versus the 4070 Ti. You can see in Flux Dev, Flux Dev model four times the performance using FP4. DLSS 4, you can see D5 render, a massive, this is a 3D software, 3D, it's used in architecture. You can see here a massive increase in performance, DaVinci Resolve, significant in increase there. And then with the games, we've got massive increases in performance in many of these games, including Indiana Jones and the Great 
uh, in the Great Circle. So this is DLSS 4 at work and I think gamers are going to love DLSS 4. We've already seen some gamers using DLSS 4 in all kinds of crazy ways. Well, because I said that there is not much of a difference, I couldn't be more wrong. Yeah, you can definitely tell on the left side with the DLSS 4, there is more detail, especially in- One gamer has even managed to get DLSS 4 working on an RTX 20 card and with very good results, with pretty damn good results. So I think DLSS 4 could turn out to be a bit of a game changer for the RTX cards, even for the gaming industry. At launch, there are apparently 75 games that use RT, that use the DLSS, and that means you've got quite a lot of options. And the quality of the the, the quality of the the graphics has been improved in all sorts of ways with all sorts of AI additions to the to, to the way things work inside of games and inside of 3D renders. So the quality of the images seems to be significantly improved with RTX and also with DLSS. When we take a look at the specs, it's very difficult to actually see the difference between the 4070 Ti Super and the 5070 Ti. We've got DLSS 4. We've got AI tops which have doubled from 706 to 1406. That's the single biggest difference that I've seen. And there are some metrics where it's actually gone back backwards, which is kind of incredible. But the other thing that we're getting is faster memory. Now, if you're using very large models like the Flux, Flux models, these can actually benefit from the higher memory bandwidth, especially uh, with just 16 gigabytes of memory. So that's going to be an improvement alongside the TOPS improvement in, in AI TOPS. I think also with the new Tensor Cores, that's something else to look forward to. But I think for people using these cards for AI, there's something to look forward to in terms of improving from 4070 Ti Super. But even if you're gaming and you're still on the 20 series cards, you can probably get quite quite a boost in overall performance and quality by going up to the 5000 series. Maybe even if you're on the 30 series, there may be good reason to upgrade. I think as you look at the difference between the 4070 Ti Super and the 5070 Ti, you gotta be using DLSS 4, you gotta be using the AI features to really enjoy the benefits of the new cards. I haven't seen anything else that really stands out as much. Now here is what we're up against with the 50 series. This is a stock update from Overclockers UK, which is a retailer for these types of cards. And they're saying the 5070 Ti sold out and pre-orders opening soon. 5080 sold out, limited stocks arriving weekly. I have seen that the 5080 is coming in in dribs and drabs. There are probably quite a lot selling around the world, but you gotta be quick to get them. And then the 5090 sold out and pre-orders ceased. Yeah, that sounds bad. That sounds really nasty. When it comes to the estimated times of arrival, two to six weeks, two to six weeks for the 70 Ti, I'm seeing similar numbers to those where I've looked online at different shops. And yeah, things are looking pretty dire for the 5090 and we don't know why. We have no idea why. I have some idea why there are delays generally, and I'm gonna explain those, those to you in a second. So there are worrying reports in the Taiwanese media about what's happening with Nvidia and their cards. And this centers around Nvidia and also TSMC, which is the manufacturer of the silicon wafers. Now it turns out there was a, an earthquake in China, in Taiwan, in the Republic of China. And that happened in a province where TSMC have their factories. That's going to lead to a supply chain disruption for NVIDIA. And that's going to mean maybe two to three months before we actually get to see supplies coming in for the 50 series. And that's the current reporting. I'm not 100% sure exactly which cards are going to be affected or which pieces of silicon are affected but i think we're going to see a reduction possibly in supply as we've seen for the 5090 before things pick up again and we're looking at that sort of time scale of about two to three months before things really normalize and that's because of the 
way that TSMC, their own kind of internal quality control has to come into play after an earthquake. And that's going to take a bit of time before they're confident about the quality of the products that they're manufacturing. Just as worryingly, there are reports that the Chinese are using the 4090D along with DeepSeek, which is a new, really kind of amazing model in AI. And they're saying you can do things with this model with a 4090D that used to take a data center. So in China, there's going to be increased demand for the 4090D and the 5090D because those ones potentially could allow you to run the DeepSeek model without having data center equipment. And of course, American companies cannot export to China the data center GPUs. So that could be a source of concern because obviously demand for the 5090D is going to be high in that situation. And you've got to purchase, I think, something like three 5090Ds in order to get the performance power of two 5090s. So that's something which is somewhat concerning and it all adds to the impression that there are going to be significant delays during which time the prices for the RTX cards are going to be much much higher than they usually would be and this is beginning to look a little bit like what happened in 2021 and in 2017 when there was a huge amount of demand for GPUs from crypto mining. Now, this is not crypto mining. This is something else. This is uh, this is a disruption within the supply chain. And it's also problems to do with specific demand for these very high end cards, possibly in China.